Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. Um, today's reading is going to be a timeless reading. So if you're watching this six months or a year after I've uploaded it and the messages are resonating with you, then you were definitely meant to hear them. Um, today I'm going to be bringing forth me messages from your spirit team. So your collective of guides, your angels, your ancestors, and your loved ones who have transitioned to the spirit realm. These are going to be general messages. They're not going to resonate with everybody. A quick announcement and then we'll get into it, Aquarius. Um, I'm going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. There you can book a transformational coaching session, a tarot reading, uh, an energy healing. You can also um, purchase a pre-recorded tarot class, Introduction to Tarot. Um, and you guys, I'm also offering a uh, class, a live class on Zoom. It's assessing and developing your intuition. I've offered this class once before. It's going to be on the 21st. Um, people really responded to it. I only have 10 spots available. So if you're interested, I um, would encourage you to sign up now. Um, if you guys have um, subscribed to my channel, but you're not receiving notifications, you need to hit the little bell. Otherwise, you won't be notified. That's just the way that YouTube does it. Um, all right, Aquarius, um, we just came through Lionsgate yesterday, which is a very, very powerful time. It was also the new moon in Leo. So if you have not set your intentions for, I would say, the coming year, it's a really good time to do it. That energy is still with us. Um, there With Lionsgate, um, you know, there's just going to be major shifts, lots of opportunities. People are going to be making major breakthroughs. The last few years, there have just been massive changes. So if you are feeling stuck, um, like you're just not progressing forward, I would say, you know, work on intention and goal setting and write it down. It's not enough to just think about it. You've got to write it down, you guys. I did an amazing reading for you. I think it was in May, late May, and it was 8888, which is all about abundance, wealth, opportunities coming through. If you haven't seen that, you may want to check it out. Very, very powerful reading. I've already pulled the cards for you, and there is a theme coming through, as there usually is in my readings. Um, and you guys, I am aware that the writing on the cards is backwards. I have to figure out how to fix this. Um, so bear with me until I figure it out. All right. We've got the Smoky Mirror from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. And this is really about the mysteries of the universe. And it's about not really understanding the way forward. And so I'm going to just read you a little bit from the guidebook. It's also about being in a state of denial or the inability or refusal to see the truth. This says, um, <clears throat> Now is the time to trust that no matter what the current conditions of your world reflect, in the hidden realms, all aspects of the human journey are celebrated. The beauty and the darkness, the misery and the courage. No matter where you are on your journey, know that some things are meant to be a mystery, which you are meant to understand only through experience. Take heart for the smoky mirror will ultimately show you beauty and wonder, wonder once the fog lifts the distortion you see now. So yeah, a lot of you may be in a place where you are under an illusion or things just don't seem clear. Um, you feel like you're in a fog, but that fog is going to be eliminated. It's going to be lifting and illusions. You're going to be able to break through illusions. You also got the staff. Um, I love seeing this. This is about authority. And this is really about 
weighing the possibilities, trusting your inner wisdom, and taking the first step on your journey. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do, if there's something that you've been wanting to change, now is the time. Just trust. The messages that I'm getting from these cards so far is it is really about surrender. It's really about surrendering to the divine and just moving forward. Just one step, just baby steps, you guys, baby steps. Um, we also got the blade for you, and this reminds me of the Ace of Swords, which is perfect for you um, because you're such an intellectual, um, logical person, even though you have amazing intuition. Um, what the blade says is it, re it represents sharpness of mind, body, and spirit, pointing upward, it summons the power of heaven. Um, this is really about claiming your power. And this says heaven and earth are aligned to support you in claiming your power. So take decisive action. Overcome your fear of hurting others. Unsheath the blade and use it wisely. There is something about communication that's coming through for me in this reading as well. Um, it's about being very mindful about the way you communicate with others. We do have pig spirit, and this does say to use your mind wisely. And so what I'm really feeling is it is about integrating your logical mind with your inner knowing. It's about balancing out your intuition and your intellect and you know Aquarius you um can really get stuck in your thoughts at times it's it's almost like you can just get completely caught up in them and um you you love being in that space but what this is saying is it's really time for you to integrate your inner knowing with the um the logical aspect of yourself that that aspect of yourself that is very drawn to like science and facts and stuff like that okay the other message coming through is owl spirit you see clearly now and the owl represents wisdom so this is like our inner truth this is also like a universal wisdom and so you are being called again to really integrate these two it's like i see the pig spirit as the mind and the owl spirit as intuition and also that connection to the divine and this is what you are being called to surrender into is this divine path forward this is a very mysterious reading it's very spiritual i do feel um because i've already pulled all the cards for you i do feel that some of you are going to be making a major breakthrough and also you um some of you are going to be going through a spiritual ascension a major spiritual ascension um which uh, is going to, when you go through this, you may have already gone through this, you're going through it now, or it's um, coming up for you. But once you go through this spiritual ascension, it's like, this is when the fog is going to lift and you're gonna come out of it with more clarity. You're gonna know the, the path forward, or at least you're gonna be able to take some steps forward. And we've got White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. And so again, this is really about just allowing yourself to be in this place of mystery where not all the facts are known. Um, the way forward may not be known, but you're being very guided. Um, the, it's not time for everything to be revealed just yet, but there are amazing things coming for you. And we've got the angel of meditation. And you guys, this is about quieting your mind. When you think about meditation, it's um, meditation helps us quiet our thoughts. And it also really helps keep us in present time um, so that we can connect with the um, earth so that we can be um, fully present in this earthly existence. 
and you know not be floating around in the sky or you know connecting simply through our seventh chakra so i'm feeling like that is a message for many of you that meditation is really going to be so beneficial to you right now the next cards that came through we've got two queens it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman we've got the queen of scrolls and the queen of keys this is from the akashic tarot these are very very different cards um they don't translate translate like the traditional tarot um but this would be like the queen of pentacles and this would be like the queen of wands this is amazing energy because the queen of um, pentacles represents the earth, okay? It's an earth element. And the queen of wands is a fire element, and fire is spiritual. It's passion. So this is, this is like, this is incredible energy, um, combined energy. It's like as above, so below. It's like heaven and earth. And, you know, we already saw that message come through. So this is just confirmation for you. It's about um, with it coming through, with those coming through after the angel of meditation, it's really about learning how to um, be in this human body, in this human experience, in this physical realm, but also be a spiritual being and connect with the collective and you know trust the guidance trust the divine plan surrender into that look for signs look for synchronicities and just you know it's about going on this spiritual journey so this is really really cool um we do have the five of ariel and this is like the five of pentacles in the traditional tarot what this says is you needn't go through your current challenges alone help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies and so with the pig spirit coming through use your mind wisely and um, the five of pentacles coming through you may have some self-sabotaging behaviors you may have some belief systems some patterns of behavior something like that um, if you're thinking negatively if you're thinking oh my dreams are never going to come true this is never going to happen you know the, that um our thoughts our words everything is energy you guys so um when you find yourself if, if you find yourself thinking these things and we we all do it we all do it at some point or another but if you find yourself thinking negative thoughts um you know that are sabotaging you just redirect yourself as soon as you start thinking them just re just redirect yourself just shut it down and start thinking about what you want to achieve not what you don't want to happen um that i think that that will really help you now we i mean we're getting multiple cards from almost all the decks you guys um with the five of ariel though coming through next to both of the queens there could be somebody that's coming in to help you um it could be a spiritual mentor it could be somebody um that's going to help you related to career or finance um so that that just came through it's not going to resonate with all of you um but i do feel like there are some mentors available to to many of you now with the um from the keepers of the light we got three cards and the first one is holy amethyst and if you think about amethyst you guys um that is a crystal that really helps us connect to our intuition and to source to the collective consciousness to the divine and this says divine alchemy move beyond your current challenges focus on what you desire and that's exactly what i was just saying so if you have these self-sabotaging thoughts about, oh, that's never going to happen, um, it's about redirecting the energy, um, not focusing on what's happened in the past, 
focusing on what you want to happen, not what you don't want to happen. And then we've got Serapis Bay Ascension. Um, this says move into your true self, rise above the darkness, the light is here. So this is about going through a spiritual ascension. Um, and you know, this with Serapis Bay, uh, with this message, rise above the darkness, you know, the smoky mirror was also has a message about rising above the darkness moving out of that energy and so this is a confirmation that you are meant to move away from those darker thoughts that you may be having and then the final card that we got from this deck is saint germain karma releasing move beyond drama create your own path and make room for good energy. And so these two are, are in a sense saying the same thing. And I love that these colors are purples and pinks because those are very, very high vibrational colors. Now with, um, with St. Germain coming through, create your own path. This is exactly what, um, the, uh, the cards from the mystical shaman were saying with the staff coming through it is about choosing the path that is right for you so it is going to be important to pay attention to signs and synchronicities that are coming through now with karma releasing i i want to speak to this for a moment because when i did the 2021 readings for the collective last year there was two there were two themes that came through one was karma releasing this card came through for oh my gosh i don't even know i think like eight of the signs and the other one was heart awakening so I do feel, um, you may want to go back and, and watch the video. Um, it's, it's in a playlist for 2021. You may want to go back and watch that video. I'm not sure if this is what came through for you or not. Um, but this is about ending some sort of cycle. It's about releasing a karmic cycle. It's like you've learned a lesson and so you're ready to move on. And you guys, I did um, a little uh, write up in my newsletter recently about Lionsgate and I looked at the numer numerology of it. So if you take the date 8-8-2021, it adds up to 21. And that in the tarot is the world and that represents the end, the end of a cycle. It's like completion, a happy ending, something that is over. Um, and then, you know, we go back to the fool and the major arcana are all about the spiritual lessons that we're learning. So it's like, I'm just feeling that you have um, or you are ending a major karmic cycle within your life. You have learned some lessons that you were meant to learn. And it may have taken you a really, really long time. But what this is saying is, yeah, you are releasing this karma. And, it's, and you are going on to a new path. So this is absolutely incredible. Now, the next message that we have, very interesting, is from the Work Your Light deck, and it's mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So it's interesting that we get two cards that have the word mirror in them. And I do feel like something is triggering you, and I feel like it's, um, it's in your head. It's these thoughts that you're having. So this is something for you to look at quite carefully. Um, and just figuring out what you can do to shift this, okay? Um, you, when we are triggered by something, it's usually an old story that we're telling ourselves. And so this is meant to come up for you to be healed. Um, when we're triggered, it's something that's not healed within us. So there's, there's something, there's some healing that needs to be done now we've got um birthing a new age so you got two cards from this deck birthing a new age um this says birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being and so this is like um you know, this is like a new start. This is a new opportunity, a new path for you to do something that really lights you up, 
that re that you are very passionate about. Um, I, I feel with this, because we are at a time of the new earth um, and the great awakening, you guys. Um, many light workers are being called forth. You may consider yourself a light worker. Light workers exist in all walks of life. Some are janitors, some are CEOs, um, you know, some are spiritual gurus, um, others are elementary teachers. It just depends. Um, but this is about you being called forth as the great awakening happens okay it's about what you can do to help the collective something that lights you up that is going to help the collective it could be as simple as volunteering somewhere or writing a blog about something that you're passionate about sharing information it's going to be different for all of you now the next messages that are coming through this is really incredible. This is from the Star Seed um, Oracle deck. We've got Messenger. And so I do feel like some of you are messengers. Um, and this says serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. And you guys, Lionsgate is all about serious. It's when serious is the closest point to the earth. So this is a really important message for you, Aquarius. Actually, it's so important that I am going to pull out the little guidebook and read this to you. And the other, the other message that we got is big picture thinking. This is Pleiades energy, visionary inspired ideas. And so this is calling you to really um, share your ideas. This is a very spiritual energy. So let's see what the messenger says. You're part of the lineage of souls who have dedicated their lifetimes to the upliftment of the planet, to returning time and again to see the light, the crystalline ones. The ones who are here to plant the sacredness of life back in, to honor both the sacred, feminine, and masculine, to usher deep reverence back in. Many ascended masters are thought to be connected to the energy of Sirius. Often appearing as a shade of blue, they hold the frequency of pure love and are here to help the masculine and feminine exist in harmony to ensure greater balance, to help us see that we're all connected and that the masculine and feminine energies exist within us all. You're being called to bring about this balance and harmony between the masculine and feminine, to be a guardian of harmony and balance on earth. Think of the whales traveling around the globe, sharing love through their healing, vibrational song, their unique notes send balance and harmony to every corner of the planet. A rebalancing of the masculine and feminine is occurring worldwide. It's a resurgence of the sacred within us all, a returning of the sacred union within, a rekindling of heaven and earth. You can begin to bring, to bring harmony and balance by creating it in your own life. The ripples will flow from there. You can honor the balance, uh, you can honor and balance the sacred masculine and feminine energies within yourself and others. Wow, very beautiful. And you guys, I can attest to this. Um, many of my private clients have uh, received messages very, most recently, like within the last month or so that um, there is a need to balance the masculine and feminine. And I'm thinking of two clients specifically. One is a woman who 
um, needs to really embrace her feminine energy. She's got a very masculine energy. She's not manly or anything like that. That's not what it's about, but she's got a very masculine energy. And so what came through for her is um, it's time to really embrace that feminine energy that she's been rejecting. And then I had a male client who is also very much in his masculinity and the message was it's time to embrace your feminine energy really integrate these energies so that you can come into wholeness and have you know just a, a more amazing experience of life and you know that if you think about the masculine that's about doing it's about your logical mind it's about um making decisions taking action and just like going for it and the feminine is really about intuition it's about um it's about allowing and creating a space to receive things and so aquarius this is very important for you um you know, perhaps some of you, I know that most of, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, most of my viewers are women, um, but that I do have quite a few men on my channel as well. So think about, you know, how well you're connected to your masculine and your feminine energies and where you really need more balance. So you guys, the last um, card that I pulled for you is from my Crystal Spirit Oracle deck. And um, so we got Sodalite. And so this is a crystal that could potentially help you at this time. This is intentionality, conscious awareness, an awakened state, inner knowing, self-confidence, and clear expression of intentions. Wow, that summarizes everything that I've essentially said in this reading. And so, yeah, it is about setting your intentions, being consciously aware of your thoughts. Um, and this awakened state, yeah, this is about you going through um, a, a, an ascension and then trusting your intuition, the inner knowing, um, having confidence that you can change your circumstances, you can make a breakthrough, and then clear expression of your intentions. I did feel like there was some communication um, ch challenges that were going to come up for you. Um, this is a, a state of conscious awareness is a key to clearly communicating your intentions to the conscious universe. The message of this crystal is to be fully awake as you make choices, large and small, that will influence your well-being. It's when we fall asleep to our spiritual nature and connection with the universal consciousness that old habits return and we forget our commitment to personal transformation. Soul Delight Spirit has appeared to help you wake up and notice whether you are becoming complacent and not following through as you promised yourself you would, now is a time to reconnect with the conscious universe so that Sodalite Spirit can magnify your awareness, helping you recognize whether your conscious or subconscious intentions are in sync so that you do not get in your own way as you co-create what you desire. This is exactly it. This is exactly what I was speaking to earlier. Um, so Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this was helpful for you and I'm just sending you guys lots and lots of love on your journey. Bye.